Hello, band students. Uh, this is Mrs. Geist, and I'm going to demonstrate how to open the clarinet case without damaging it so it doesn't fall out, and uh, then your parents will be sad because they have to go get it fixed. So I'm demonstrating the clarinet. Hopefully your instrument came with a name tag, like a luggage tag. Um, otherwise you can get one at Walmart or wherever you wanna buy a luggage tag. Just make sure your name's on it. I don't really like a piece of tape on there because over time it will come off and we wanna know that this is your instrument. All right, so most cases will have a emblem, an emblem on the top of the case. Not all of them do, but most of them do. So that's an indicator that you're gonna open it up the correct way so it doesn't fall out. Another indicator is Normally, the latches will go down. Not all the time, but 90% of the time, the latches go down, okay? If you have another brand, sometimes they lift up, but just be really careful when you're not sure and you're not gonna open it up and it falls out. Another thing I described is, uh, I forgot to tell you, is please do this on the floor. If you do it on a table or in your lap, uh, if it falls down, it's gonna hit the ground. So at least when you're on the floor, it doesn't fall very far. If you can have it on the carpet, that's even better, okay? We don't wanna mess up your instrument because if it doesn't work, you can't play it and you're not gonna have any fun and your parents will be sad because they have to pay more money to get it fixed. So uh, make sure the case is opening the correct way. Again, if you're upside down and you open it, the instrument's gonna fall out and break, okay? Instruments are expensive and they're very delicate, so we wanna make sure we take care of them. So clarinets, um, you're gonna have a couple things in your case. Hopefully your, re your, um, hopefully your rental or what you own came with a couple reeds. As I said in your um, Google Classroom, you should have at least two, preferably four or six reeds. Um, if you buy them by the box, it's a lot cheaper. You should buy a Rico brand. Um, it's the cheapest for now. You don't need to buy an expensive reed. So just buy the cheapest quality reed, which is Rico. And uh, it's a good, good reed for what it is. It's a good brand for what it is. And you want a size two, all right? Don't get a one and a half. I want you to start out with a size two. As we get more um, developed, we will move up those sizes to a two and a half and then to a, to a three, but we have to work up to that. Your clarinet case should have also come with some cork grease. Okay, very inexpensive. Just make sure you always have it with you. I will talk about the cork grease later, not today. All right, um, and then you should have, this is the wrong one, but my uh, other swab is in my other clarinet case, um, which is at school. So your case should come, your clarinet should come with a swab, okay? Like a swab to clean out the, the spit in there and so it doesn't stink and stay in there. So I will show you how to swab it out. Um, but it's gonna be a swab, this is a saxophone one, so it's kind of big. So you're gonna have a swab like this, but for clarinet, and it fits right in your little case over here. Okay, so for the first lesson, you should have a mouthpiece. This is a mouthpiece, this is a mouthpiece cap. It goes over it, protects your reed when you're not playing it. Those reeds are about $2 a piece, so we don't wanna break them. We wanna be gentle with them and make them last a while, okay? Or your parents will be upset that they have to buy reeds all the time. You have something called a ligature, okay? You wanna loosen that up. You can go ahead and put your cap back in your case for now. And again, you're on the floor, so nothing falls down. You're focused here, not on the table, not on a chair, not on tile. You wanna to try to have a big space open where it's just you on the floor, okay? So this ligature comes off, and I loosened it up a little bit so uh, it, it, it works out. You're gonna take your reed, and you're going to Put it in your mouth. Gently, you don't wanna you don't wanna break this reed, okay? It is very, very fragile. So we soak it up. Make sure it's soaked. We don't want to dry reed, otherwise you'll squeak. Now I'm obviously good at this because this is my instrument, and it's gonna take you a while to get used to how to drop the reed in. I'm lifting up my ligature. And I'm gently putting the reed on the mouthpiece. Now, I didn't touch the top, but I didn't go like that to move it down because it's very, 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 very thin. So if you do that, the reed is gonna crack. And again, it's not gonna sound good. So we wanna be very gentle and it's gonna take some time until you get used to it. So bring up the ligature. You can also do this. You can also put the reed on there. There's two different ways to do it. You line up the, the reed perfectly on the mouthpiece, making sure that it's lined up at the top, but again, I'm not uh, pushing it down right there. I'm using my thumb. 
Then I drop the ligature over it, make sure the screws are on this side facing you. And they're supposed to be on the right side because most people are right-handed. So we want that ligature, the screws on the right-hand side. And also you want it down low enough. A lot of mouthpieces will have a ring around it. So then once you drop it low enough, you're gonna tighten that up, not too much. We don't wanna break the ligature. They're not expensive, but without it, it's not gonna work out. So that is what you have so far. Then you're gonna take your barrel, okay? We're gonna change this up a little bit in class, but I know you wanna try to make some noise out of your clarinet, so go ahead and put the mouthpiece on the barrel. And again, remember it's called the reed, size two, right? The reed, the ligature, the mouthpiece, and the barrel. All right, we wanna make sure that reed is wet. We wanna make sure we don't break it and we don't force it down in there. And we wanna make sure the ligature is down far enough so the reed can vibrate. Now, this is the hard part. You're going to take your left hand. What hand are you gonna to take to hold it? Your, your left hand. Oh, I just messed up. It's not your left hand. <laughs> You're going to take it and hold it with your right hand. I'm so sorry. You're gonna take it with your right hand and you're gonna hold the barrel. There's a method to my madness, okay? If you start doing this, you're gonna end up holding the clarinet the wrong way. So please practice this with your right hand. Now, what you're gonna do with your right hand, you're going to move your bottom lip. You're gonna tuck it in inside your mouth. You're going to make sure that it goes over the bottom teeth. Now, it doesn't matter what size of lip you have, that bottom lip has to all tuck under. Okay, when you're looking in the mirror, you shouldn't see anything. Now your top teeth, just set right on top of the mouthpiece. Nothing weird, you don't wanna go like that. We don't wanna roll our top lip in. Our top lip just sits there. So again, bottom lip in, it's not like this. We don't want that, okay, we don't want that. We want your bottom lip in. No puff cheeks at all, no puffy cheeks, okay? Bottom lip in, mouthpiece a little bit far up. A lot of young players will not put enough mouthpiece in your mouth, so you wanna put a lot in your mouth. And I'm kinda having a firm grip. I'm kinda an embouchure, it's a big word. Embouchure is how I hold my, my face, okay? So go ahead and try that for now. Bottom lip under. Put your mouthpiece, your, your lip about there. Okay, your lip goes pretty far in. Put it in your mouth, mouth a lot. And your top teeth, just sit there. And our first game we're gonna play is how long can you hold that note out? So that is your basic um, information for this first lesson. Please do not try to put the clarinet together yet. We are not ready for that. Um, I will guide you through that with my next video. But for this week, I literally just want you to walk around your house, drive your parents crazy, and make this sound. Now, I'm not overblowing. I'm not making it ugly. All right, I'm not doing that. And when your face is tight enough, that sound will be higher. We don't want puffy cheeks. That brings the sound down. All right, so hopefully that helps. When you're done with this, you're gonna take the barrel off, put it back where it goes, and guess what? You can keep the reed on there. Some teachers will tell you you can't, but you can. It keeps it from warping, actually. So then you put your mouthpiece cap on, put it back in the case, and then bring it out again tomorrow to practice. So I hope you enjoy the clarinet. I'm going to be honest, it's my favorite instrument. I would still pick it again. So uh, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.